<laughs> that was tough, man. Bloody stream. They were made out of bloody tears. Oh, I know what I need to do. Bye. Hold on one second. Okay. Hopefully that helped. Okay. I see what I need to do. I need to hit it three times. Flawless splice. Dude, there's so many this there's so much confusion in this there's just not like I don't know what to do on that next part at all the shell up. Wow, oh, that makes sense. That's not a bad idea. And then do I re-eat the yellow shell? And then we do something. Alright. Now we're in business. I don't think I need to do that. The tiny coins are your favorite part about that. I kind of like the tiny coins. Yeah, I, I agree. I kind of like the tiny coins. They're not intrusive, but they do the job. I think I get it. I think I get what I need to do there. I need to spit the yellow shell out up there and then re-eat the re-eat that red shell and then we're gonna do something red shell related. Dude, this is a lot in an auto scroller. Honored. We honored him. Um, I am assuming those are ice blocks and I need to fire them, right? ASM is assembly language. Now it's gonna look like we're spending less than an hour on this one. Can you do the same speedrun strats in SMB3 as in All Stars? Yes. They're the same game essentially, except for like a couple minor differences. SMB3 on the NES though is significantly faster. I see. I see. Um, I mean, yeah, it's just, it's so hard to do, it's so hard to play like your best Kaizo at a marathon. 
because you're trying to show off and have fun. Mother fuck. Oh. Oh shit, it worked. the first part of this level. I haven't even hit checkpoint yet. Yeah. Ending made tons of sense. Whew. Damn it. I don't want to do any of those things. This is just torture? Why do it? What do you mean? This is fun. This level is fucking sweet. No shit. What did I do? Something's going on there. I have no idea what that was. I don't know what happens if it hits that on off switch, but I'm just going to pretend like nothing. Yes, it is indeed a reference. What was the reference? I don't remember what the, the title of the level was. I don't remember the reference. The JoJo reference? Uh, Slaughterhausen, thank you for three months. The Path of Garlic. An anime reference? I don't play enough anime. Yeah. Sorry, timer. I'm beginning to think 
I need to my splits. Yeah, I'm beginning to think I need to do this. Timer to stop. There we go. What am I doing here? I don't get what I was supposed to do. Ooh. I, what I think is you shouldn't get to play. You shouldn't get to play for, like, bottom three are out, top three of the B-League are in, regardless. Oh, fuck me. Oh. The fuck was that? Damn it. Damn it, dude, I don't get this part. I knew it. I don't get it. I don't get that section. Fuck, man. I don't get that section. This I don't get at all. This is the one thing I'm not understanding. And I think I only have one more exit after this. Rage, I'm right there. Goonie was definitely like, you know what, this motherfucker, these motherfuckers have done eight levels. I'm going to put the bullshit levels right at the end. You know what I mean? Oh, come on, dude. It's not even there yet. It's the longest I've ever spent on a level. Um, Four years ago, I spent 100 hours on the level. get what I'm supposed to do right there. It doesn't make sense. It's probably so fucking simple and I'm gonna feel like such a dumbass once I get it.
Wait, is that it right there? Did I just figure it out? Do I just need to go back, ride it back, and then wait? I feel like that was it. I know, I feel like... Can I just say that's the least intuitive of the solutions for that? I just want to say that. I don't know if that's it, but... No! What? What? He did say, oi, this is a jank hack, mate. I mean, he did... Aguni did preface that. So, I'm, I shouldn't complain. He warned us. Oh, come on. No! Damn it, I tried to cheese it. It ended up fucking me. Doesn't matter, we're not gonna get to God of War today. This is taking a lot longer than I thought. Eh, we might just start it late and just go a little bit late. God. Whew. Hog champ in there. Oh my God. Whew. That was the longest clear for any level so far. Yeah, that took a while. All right, I think this should be the last level. Yeah, garlic, agony industries. Three rooms, layer two, tight timer, thwomps. It never gets old. <laughs> I'm sure that's how I'm gonna feel. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Why does Wario's face look busted? Yo, he gets that from his mama. I need to go backwards there. Wario's mom's busted? Oh, Wario's mom's gorgeous. by the second timer up there. Oh. Damn it. Three day ones. Mario Super Nintendo games run at 60 frames. Okay. I think a founder's badge makes more sense for people who've been affiliate, you know, like affiliated stuff. They should just do the oldest 25 subs.
Well, that didn't make much sense. Uh, why do you call exits? Yeah, you do exits because, um, like, and Mario World, like the original game, like it makes more sense to like, what's 100% of the game? Every Dragon Coins? You know what I mean? It just makes more sense for that's how it is. Like not everything needs to be a percentage in speedrunning. In fact, I would argue that most games shouldn't be like 100%, any percent, blah, well, any percent, yeah, but 100% should not be a thing in most games. But like even like this, there's a difference in regular Mario World, there's a difference between like 11 exits, which is like, how you would think any percent would go with warps and then the true any percent. Well, that didn't seem fair. This never gets old. This is a cool level. I really like this one. Yeah, this one's a really cool level. Like legit. The Switch Palace is the only level I haven't really enjoyed. I see what I need to do. I don't see what I need to do. Shit. I don't know what to do. Oh, I just throw it backwards. The on-off blocks are coming with me. Okay. Am I, I mean, am I just, am I just somehow going too slow right there? Oh, and then I had it. Shit. What's the most trouble I've ever been in with the law? Um, I have the the most trouble I've almost gotten into. One pro one time I should have gotten into trouble and I got uh, lucky. And another time, I have the, the time that I spent a weekend in jail. But that one, that one you're honestly gonna be annoyed at that one because I didn't need deserve to spend a weekend in jail. You want the weekend in jail or the time that I should have spent? I should have actually gone to jail. Oh, nah, I, I, I'll tell the weekend in jail. So we had a big raging ass party my sophomore year. And we got in, we got a noise nuisance violation in a college town, University of Boulder. And they make a lot of their city makes a lot of their money off college town things violations so uh they charge you had the fine was for a city noise violation the fine was two thousand dollars you had to do like i had to do you had to do like two classes for drinking we were underage and um 40 hours of community service. 
right? Right? It's insane, right? So I went to the judge. So I'm, I'm, all my friends, all my friends, you know, their, their parents just paid for it. Um, I lived with rich kids. But I did the math. I had a job. I did the math and I had a job and I couldn't take, I couldn't take time. I would have to take time off for my job to do the, the, um, you know, the 40 hours of community service, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Dude, even just running in there, I'm not getting close to it. Like, I didn't even try to pick it up. I don't strike you growing up as a rich kid. I definitely wasn't. I don't, you don't really, I didn't really realize though. You don't really realize that you don't have a lot until you meet other people that do. And then you're like, fuck, man. You've traveled out of the country before 18? That's wild. I does I, I'm no I'm nothing not even close not even fucking close anyway so I straight up looked at the judge like as he's issuing his sentence is issuing the sentence uh and it's funny like all four of us were in the same room I just told the judge I was like I was like yo is there anything else because I can't afford to do that and he got really pissed off and he goes he goes I'll never forget this he goes are you prepared to spend the weekend in jail, son? <laughs> and I said, no, but honestly, I said, no, but sir, I can't take, I can't pay $2,000 and take 40 hours off work. I'll be homeless. You know, I'll be homeless. Shuffles his papers around. I'll never forget this. He shuffles his papers around. He looks down. He looks up at me and he goes, well, you're going to have to do a weekend in jail. And I was like, all right. I'm going to do a weekend in jail then because a weekend in jail where I'm not working on the weekends, you know, because my job is Monday through Friday. Like a weekend in jail is a lot. It's going to save me essentially like four or five thousand dollars. So they made me do a weekend in this thing. It was called the weekenders program. So I'm in jail with a bunch of people who had like DUIs, like nonviolent shit. And they just go in for the weekend. You like street sweep. And they give you a salami sandwich, a bologna sandwich, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich the next morning. Street sweep again a little bit the next day, and then you go home. And I had to do one weekend of that. So it was like a bunch of people that had like DUIs and they had to do like, you know, seven, eight, nine weekends, you know, like nonviolent offenders. A couple guys had like got caught with drugs and stuff. It was such garbage. And the worst part is I had to pay for it. I still had to pay 300 bucks for that. I know. It was worth it. Yeah, it was totally worth it. $400? Oh, I hated it so much, though. It was so bad. This doesn't fucking make sense! Oh! Truth be told, like, the night I spent in jail, we played a lot of cards, and I had kind of a good time. <laughs> like, I played spades. With some guys, I played some euchre. Like the actual night, like the the street sweeping stuff, but the actual night in jail, not that bad. What's the other story? All right, this is also in Boulder. This is also in Boulder. And um, I used to intern for the Denver Nuggets and I would get people free tickets for the Nuggets a lot. And uh, one time I got my buddy free tickets for the Nuggets and Unbeknownst to me, he was gonna use my car. He used my car while, cause I had to go to the game early. So he was just sitting there waiting in the parking lot for my car. Well, he decided to smoke some of the devil's lettuce in my car. Which in his defense, at the time I drove a Cadillac. So I could understand why he thought that was like completely okay. Like a 92 Cadillac, right? And, and, um, and also this is college. At the time, that's where everybody did it, you know? Um, he also was, and this is just like, if you're a kid, you should just, this is just all, these are all bad choices that I let him make around me. Right? So he uh, was drinking. See, why did that one work? He was drinking and had an open beer. I ended up dropping him off at the bus stop. Um, and, uh, he was like, Hey, you want a beer? And I was like, yeah, sure, man. He gives me one, but he opens it beforehand. He puts it in my, you know, I was just trying to be nice. And he puts it in my, um, my passenger side, like, what do I want to say? Like the cup holder, right? 
And I pull out of the I pull out and for some reason I had like auto lights that would go on and off. It's like a 92 Cadillac, right? Well, the thing with the 92 Cadillac at that point is it, they didn't really work really well. So I, my lights weren't on. So I got pulled over for my lights weren't on. My car reeks of weed and I have an open open can of booze. And the cop pulls me over. I like crack the window because I know it's gonna be And he goes, first thing he goes, goes, Oh, you've been smoking? And I was like, No, sir. I was like super honest, like, no, sir, my friend has, and I have an open beer right here. I just want you to know that I have not drank in any of it. Um, I'm, I'm under 21, right? And they goes back, takes my license registration, goes back. All of a sudden, like, three cops pull up. You know what I mean? Three cops pull up, and I'm like, well, this is it. This is, this is it. This is before my first weekend in jail. It's all the same year. It's actually the same year. It's my sophomore year. It's just a bad year for me. Um, uh, yeah, and, uh, they're like, they, they're they like, all right, can we search your car? And I'm like, yes. Hold, I was like, I reiterated, like, this is a full open beer, right? Right there. I had put it in the back seat for some reason. Like, that would get me out of trouble. I don't know why I did that, but I put it in the back seat. I was like, it's right there. The cops searched my car took the beer, they put it back in the cup holder. Keep in mind, I'm not 21 yet. They took the beer, put it back in the cup holder. Didn't find anything because I didn't have anything. I was a good, nice, good young boy. And, uh, and they go, they, they, they look at me, and then they go, or I was wearing a Denver Nuggets jersey, and they were like, oh, what do you, do you go to the Nuggets game? I was like, no, nah, I interned for them. And they started talking to me about Carmelo, Carmelo Anthony at the time. And they go, all right, don't be smoking in my town. That's what he said. Let me go. Yeah, 100%. It was a hor horrible thing. Oh my god! Oh, I don't get it. No, I never like egged any houses. I definitely had like a weird fireworks obsession for a little bit. In middle school, I'd say. Like just starting, you know, random fires. Not like in public, but like. All right, we made it in. We made it in, baby. We made it in. All right, we're in there. We're in there. What is this shit? What is this fucking shit? happening right here. No, I'm not controlling anything right here. This guy's just picking. He's just following wherever I go. Yeah. Oh, and I can't I can't spin jump on it. This is impossible. How am I liking this hack so far? I like it a lot. Uh, this hack has had one, one section that I freaking hated, but otherwise it was like really, really good. I don't, oh man. How many seeds have you done? All right. Damn it. The first two rooms of this castle were fucking awesome. They were super cool. This room fucking sucks ass. You think you can despawn the thwomp on the way through the first pipe if you time it correctly? 
like this and then not be able to beat the level? You can. I can do that. What kind of boss fight is it going to be? I hope it's against Mario, maybe. It's probably not. They probably didn't think that too deep into it. Probably like a foo fight or some sort of thing. Why do you suck? Why are you so fucking stupid, Swamp? This Swamp is so dumb. Imagine... Imagine making this part. See, there's still more? What do I do on that section, dude? I don't even know what to do on that section. I need to fucking beat this, y'all. I need to beat this, or I gotta start the whole fucking thing over tomorrow. I gotta start the whole level over tomorrow. Now we have more time for God of War. That's what that means. Yeah. Oh my god! Just like fade. Um, oh my god, no. That was it. Oh my god, that was it. I sat there and thought about it, and the timer got me. Like, he just like gets sucked through everything and I'm trying to make sure he's in the right spot. You can't go in there. Fuck. Alright. You can't go in that little ledge. I thought you could go in that little ledge. There. Now it's just me being greedy. Yeah, it's just me being greedy right there. It's like he holds on just like a little bit long. He does, doesn't it? Doesn't it feel like he's holding on just a little bit longer on that last one? He's holding on for one more day. He knows that there's pain, but if he holds on for one more day, he can break free from the pain. I do not know how much time was left on the clock, but it was low. It was fucking low. <laughs> I know that there's pain, but you hold on for one more day. All right, whatever this boss is gonna be, it's fine. Oh.
Yeah, eat it. Eat it, bitch. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. This is kind of cool. Spent Horizon Dead spent 15 hours on this boss. Is it random? Is this RNG? Oh my god, this section's RNG. Oh. It's random. Oh, fucking balls. Is this serious? Is this like a really long boss fight though? Is this like I should come back tomorrow? Boss fight. Oh. An hour or two or at least, yeah. Alright. We might have to we might have to call this and save this for the first part of stream tomorrow. Play this boss. And then we'll do just God of War all day tomorrow. Yeah. I can kind of tell Wes made this. This is like something Wes would like to do. He likes this go back and forth stuff. I think it's Morton with He's got skull and crossbones on. Can I spin jump on that fire? What the fuck's going on here? This boss is cool. All right, I gotta call it. Yes, the finale. It's literally this boss, dude. If you guys watched late last night, that fucking our last level was garbage, garbage. All right, it was paint. Dude, that last level was. But actually, just the last section of the last level was bad. Yeah, I'm gonna play God of War today. I'm not gonna. I said I was gonna start it last night. But I got stuck. Damn it, man. I need to do a full jump on that one. Um, Alright, I should reintroduce this boss. This is Morton, who seems to be the main bad guy of Garlic. And Morton does random attacks. Whoa. And then he spits out this shell. And this is the this is the first phase. And now he's going to throw out one of three things. So he threw out the saw and now he goes hammers. The saw I think is the easiest one. And then he goes fire. The fire is kind of almost the most annoying because it's stuck. And now it'll give me a shell. Okay. Oh damn it. Timer. There we go. Oh my god. It's hard because you can't learn. You're not really learning every attack right away. Right away. This isn't Mario Maker 2 verse mode. Um, you know, I haven't played much verse mode the last two weeks. It's getting harder to find games. Shit. I just fucked up. 
Oh, it just despawned my shell. Oh. What's hard? Does he throw out a random number, too? What's hard about the hammers is... Some of them are like stuck together. Oh, that was tough. No. We just whiffed it. Oh my God, we whiffed it again. There we go. There we go. I actually think this is the easiest thing to deal with. The um, poison mushroom. Okay, so now this section I don't understand at all. Damn it. I think I was getting it. Okay, okay. This is looking good. Damn it, it didn't look good at all. Is it Morton? Is it Roy, not Morton? Did I say it was Morton? It's Roy. No, it's Morton. Pretty sure this is Morton. Yeah. No, I know what I'm talking about. I know my Koopa kids. Ooh, made it. Yeah, I was gonna say Roy Roy's got pink hair, sunglasses. Roy's like the Michelangelo of the group. Not the painter, the turtle. Oh dude, this one's impossible. Dude, this one's so hard. Yeah, I the the ghost. The ghost is, I'm, I'm over. Like, I can't do the ghost. Yeah, it's probably a pretty good speedrun game. Oh, dude, the, those ghosts, I'm dead. Like, those ghosts, I'm just, just kill me. Oh, it keeps hitting me with the ghost. I can't do anything. Says he's Morton Jr. This is Morton Jr. Oh, that sucks. The ghost attack, I can handle the saw. I can handle the, the, um, what's the other one? The poison piece of garlic, but I can't handle the ghost. The ghost attack's too strong. Yeah. Oh, I almost didn't get my hand back on from scratching my nose. See, this one's fine. I can handle this. Alright, here we go. We got this. No, I had it. out at all hitbox man that went right through his nose oh that was my fault oh my god oh man I'm doing the ghosts
Damn it. I almost did the ghost. Yeah, we're like annoyingly lovey, so. This is a really cool boss. Yeah, this is super cool. This is probably the third coolest end boss I've ever played in a game. In a ROM hack, sorry. Not like any game ever. It's definitely time consuming. This boss is cooler than Invictus's. Yeah, I'd probably say it's a little bit cooler. Uh, the thing I like about Invictus's boss, though, is it's pretty visually pleasing. I don't think this boss is necessarily, like, super... Like, the, he moves a little slow. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like his... Um, he can move faster with his shell. You know what I mean? And it would be a little bit... More visually pleasing. If that makes sense. Music's really good, yeah. Damn it, I almost died right there. Chat. Oh, man. Kaizo 3 and Grand Poo World 2 are definitely my favorite. But this is, this is easily number three. I can't think of another one that I've enjoyed as much as this. Invictus would be number four after that, probably. I think the problem with Invictus is the first cycle is so inconsequential. Like, the first cycle you have no chance of dying on, so you it's just annoying to go through. Yeah. Okay, so it's definitely how many times he jumped. Chat. Damn it. Maybe I should just like do a shell jump off it. Yeah, I was gonna say like, oh, my bad. Maybe I should just shell jump, and then it'll automatically be down there. Carefully placed sock is a man mangery. Yeah, there's really no way as a dude to set that up. Oh, I just, I didn't make a decision. I made no decision there. That's what you, you just really want to make no decision, or uh, a decision. Making a decision is always more right than making no decision.
The one thing about the shell jump that has me worried is if I do a shell jump and I hit, I go too high and hit a plump. box what a gorgeous hit box is that it and i gave you the ass and i gave you the ass and you get the butt <laughs> that's cool right it garlic oh made it by a goonie A uh, level and boo boss design, a goonie, final boss fight design, West Slasher, coin system and jank fixing, Kevin M. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin and West Slasher. Inspiration, Storks, Apes, Sheffy World 2. Dude, I love Sheffy World 2. Invictus. Sheffy World 2 is so good, y'all. Uh. Daphne, Dippy, Harvest Fox, Kevin M, uh, Ultima, Young Gotkins. Uh, Luigi San, Nargle, Rashi, Spin Jumper. ASM, Budiz me, Eric, Green Hammer Bro, Kevin M, Major Flair, Mathos, Nergossel, Russian Man, Shiny Ninetales, Thomas, West Slasher, World Peace. I apologize for all the names I missed. There were too many and I lost track of them. A huge and special thanks to West Slasher for helping make this hack. And Kevin M. Thank you for playing. You're very welcome. Uh, also, I wasn't in the credits, so we all know what that means. Its rating of 8.5 is deducted one full point. Now it's 7.5. It's a great hack, though. Really solid hack. Definitely, definitely outside of one, you know, one extremely frustrating part and a few other, like, small frustrations. Um... I thought it was pretty fucking great. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was pretty fucking great. That was that was really really good, really 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 good. Replay? 